I'm Shakayla, and I redefine my heritage. My heritage journey started in the kitchen. We're talking about Easter. We're talking about picture day, really any day. From five and up, I had to have straight hair. New growth is bad. Straight hair is good. I had no positive influence. And between the media, my mother putting her hair away, I didn't really have anyone to tell me that my hair was good. It's saying it without saying it. You just automatically assume your hair is bad. And as a child, you're impressionable. And that just follows you. Circling back to my early 20s, I am constantly getting my relaxers. I'm constantly making sure that that new growth don't show. I'm standing in the mirror and I have this white tub of gunk and these gloves on and I'm looking and I'm going, what am I doing? My fingernails are turning yellow. Like, why am I doing this to look like someone else, to strip away what comes naturally to me? I'm like, I'm never ever gonna go ahead and touch this stuff again. And I have it. And that was almost 10 years ago. I went to school for business. After college was over, I'm looking for an office job. I'm looking for where do I belong with this culture? Where do I belong in these groups of people? And what am I going to wear? How am I going to style my hair? You know, it starts with hair and then it follows you into just how you're supposed to be as a person with social norm. I didn't really have a support system. Um, I had my aunt. She provided me with my very first spray bottle gave me some conditioner to try. And then I did have my stepmother for support, but unfortunately it wasn't in the way that you could be a full supporter. They could only kind of sympathize and not empathize. Then came the scrutiny from people that I thought were close friends. They would laugh at me behind my back, especially when I first cut it. Being called Don King at work via a department-wide email, you know, nowadays that's HR, but back then I was insecure and I knew that I had to work with these people every single day. So I just took it. Oh my gosh, I love your fro. I wonder how it would look straightened as if the way that it's growing out of my head is not enough. But then I was like, I don't need to straighten my hair anymore. And I don't really straighten my hair at all. And at this point, if it does get straightened, it's just so I can clip my ends. If I do want to wear some straight hair, I'll throw out a wig in a hot second. And I do redefine what it means to be a beautiful Black woman. I don't feel like I have to wear these wigs or wear these protective styles. But you can if you want to. It's about your choice. So I was bullied in my family setting, bullied with friends, bullied at work. And I know bully is a strong term, but that's what it felt like to me. I knew at the end of the day, what I was doing was for me, for my health, the health of my hair, and to really make sure that I felt beautiful starting with my hair and then inside and out. I know now that I don't have to be a small size or I don't have to be what the social expectation is of what is beautiful. Now that I am where I am, I stand up for both myself and anyone coming for natural hair and saying that it is negative, unwanted, not acceptable. I was at a family barbecue and this family member decides to comment on my natural hair saying, oh, you know, it sure is nappy. No, it's beautiful, it's kinky, and there's nothing wrong with it. That's how I stood up for myself. I redefine what it means to be beautiful, wearing the hair that I want to, whether synthetic, whether it is attached to a cap, or whether it's my own. So I found myself falling victim to beauty brainwashing standards. It started with my hair and then it escalated to my brown skin, to my curvy shape until I was questioning my identity as a whole. And then I asked myself, who am I trying to be? You are beautiful just the way that your hair grows out of your head. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You make your own definition of what it means to be beautiful to you. A lot of people's natural hair journeys are just gonna be, oh, trial and error for products, for styles. Take advice from the people who are also embracing their curls. Be patient, love your curls, talk to them. It works. Water them, moisturize them. 
I sound like Sita, I know I do. Get with people who have your type of hair. Invest in great beauty products. Get rid of those split ends whenever you can. <laughs>